Spring is in the air and I'm sure we are all ready for it, but are our bodies? We've been indoors for months and taking this role of home body very seriously after all. So Dr. Nikesa Remy is here to share her tips on prepping our bodies for outdoor activities, which we're so excited to get to. Hi, Dr. Nikesa. Good morning. So yeah, we're gonna get right into it, I guess. We're gonna talk about how to prep our bodies. When we're sitting all day long, things get tight, things get stiff, and we can't just jump out there and start our spring activities. We've gotta warm up properly. Yes, we do. Okay, what is the most common injury and how can we prevent it? The most common injury, definitely low back pain. In fact, 80% of Canadians suffer from low back pain. So what you gotta do before you go out there, clean the shed, clean the garage, we gotta open up our hips and our pelvis. So the first exercise is called a hip opener. And you can do this standing. If you need balance, hold onto a chair. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your knee up, bring it over and then back down and to the front. And you wanna repeat that a good 10 times to really open up the hip. If you hear a little clicking, not to worry, that's a good sign, <laughs> things are moving. Just like a Lego, yep. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Now the other thing we want to work on is our glutes, our butt. We need to warm that up. And good mornings are a great exercise to do that. So what you want to think about, bending your knees and then pushing your hips and your back out slowly. For ladies, think about like using a public bathroom. We don't quite want to sit on the toilet. We want to get close, but not all the way down. That's going to really warm up the glutes, which are so important in preventing low back injuries. Those glutes are everything when it comes to almost all the function happening uh, below the waist. So you need to have those glutes on point. And every woman just understood what you meant when you said public washroom. We all get it. Okay, let's talk, about the, let's talk about the stress on our knees and our ankles. What should we be thinking about there? Yes. So we got to really focus on range of motion and getting good motion in the knees. So what you can do here is you can come onto a step if you have one, and then the knee that's going to support you is your stabilizing knee. The opposite knee, I want you to take your heel and reach out forward as f much as you can, come back up, and then take the toe and move it back as much as you can. With that bent knee keeping nice and stable. It shouldn't be wobbly when you're doing this. And again, you want to repeat that a good 10 times each side. Okay, as soon as you said it shouldn't be wobbly, I started wobbling. But I promise you people, I can do it. And it's a good exercise. It's doing what it's supposed to do. What, what is it doing actually, Doc? So what we're working on is those little muscles around the knee called ligaments. We're working on activating those to protect our knee if we're going to be doing any bending, running, or any spring activities like that. Excellent. Okay, what have you got for us next? We're gonna talk about ankle and getting the ankles ready. Ankle injuries, ankle sprains, number one injury, so we don't want those. So you're gonna come close to the wall with your front foot maybe about five, four inches from the wall, and then from here, I'm taking my knee and driving it towards the wall but my heel cannot come off the ground. It needs to stay on that ground to force my ankle into the, getting that full range of motion. Very good. And then yes, repeat on both sides. Excellent. And these are all things you can do before you're about to go out. Simple stretches that are going to make you uh, a little bit more prepared for whatever is waiting for you around the corner. Okay, let's talk exactly. about the next body part that we need to warm up. Yeah, we're going to talk about shoulders. Shoulders are really important because if you're going to be out in the garden, shoveling, raking, doing that kind of stuff, you need to prep. And what we're going to do is we're going to prep our neck and our upper back. Because if those aren't moving well, that puts a lot of strain on the shoulders. So all you need, scarf, towel, something like that. And then what we're going to do to get our neck ready is we're going to take that scarf or towel, place it behind the neck, and then you're gonna pull forward, so straight out in front. And then as you're pulling forward, lift the chin up towards the ceiling or up towards the sky while you pull forward. This is gonna open up the joints in the neck and also give us a really good stretch, especially if we're sitting at computers all day, you wanna do this one. Oh, this one feels really good. Have you got anything else for us, Doc? I do. I've got one more for the upper back. So we're still using the same scarf or towel, and it's going to go behind, just underneath your shoulder blades. And I want you to pull up on a 45-degree angle. And as you're pulling up, think about lifting your chest up again towards the ceiling or towards the sky. So we're pushing forward up on that 45 degree angle and really opening up the upper back and the chest. Again, really important to work, especially because we're sitting so much during the day. Sitting and also hunched over with our phones. Oh my gosh, it's so bad for the back, huh? It really is and it can lead to a lot of injuries.
Well, you're making me excited about getting outside again without the ice. We're going to get there very soon. So thank you, Dr. Nikesa. Fantastic tips. They are all up on our website, cityline.tv, for you if you ever need a little refresh.